Beaten, electrocuted, not being given food, and not being allowed to sleep. These are some of the horrifying experiences a Malaysian faced after he took up a lucrative job offer in Cambodia. Ma, the victim of the human trafficking case, said he only realized that the syndicate that brought him to work in Cambodia was actually part of a fraud syndicate that targeted China when he arrived in the country. He said he was repeatedly beaten and subjected to electrical shocks after he refused to carry out the scam calls. Syndicate ini memukul mereka adalah digali tangan, dua hari tak bagi makan, dua hari tak bagi tidur, gali dengan cara berdiri, bukan atas katil. Ini gila punya, gila punya kerja. Kalau berani lawan lagi, lagi teruk dipukul dan dengan satu maaf cara eh, Cili, cili ya, eh, potong, masuk, ikut, jubuh. During the seven months that he was in Cambodia, Ma said that he witnessed at least two victims who committed suicide because they could not withstand the abuse. One is in the ground, on the ground, you can see all of them. Is it the same person or China? China. 呃，一次是跳楼吗？就第一次看到是跳楼，然后第二次就是上吊。Ma and another victim of the syndicate, Feng, gave an account of their experiences at a press conference held by Toruntum Assembly Person Sim Chun Xiang. Yang saya tahu, yang saya tahu, dia ada lebih empat puluh lebih kumpulan di sana, okay? Dan dalam kumpulan itu terdapat terdiri banyak company dekat alam orang China memang dia target orang dia China saja lepas tu kami mereka ramai telah pulang ke China dan tidak mendapat apa-apa so mereka kurang pekerja harapan dia orang dapat pekerja adalah dari sekitar uh, Asia Tenggara maknanya Malaysia Thailand Philippines, Vietnam, Laos, Myanmar. Ma and Feng said they would be sold to another fraud syndicate if they did not reach the target set by the previous one. Ma said that he had been sold six times. Dia mesti ngaku dia orang China. Dia bukan orang Malaysia. Kalau dia orang Malaysia, dia dia dijual dengan murah saja. Kalau dia ngaku dia orang China, dia akan dijual dengan mahal. Sebab mata lama dia orang adalah customer dia orang nak conquer uh, skamer ni adalah orang dari China. According to Sim, after Ma's family filed a police report in Malaysia, the Cambodian police rescued him from the syndicate. However, they released him back to the fraud syndicate four days later. Ma was then sold to another syndicate after that. Kenapa di, telah diselamatkan? Kenapa dia boleh dibawa keluar oleh kumpulan yang syndicate? Ini cukup pelik saya. Sebab bila saya hantar maklumat kepada Embassy Malaysia, Embassy Malaysia cakap ini pernah diselamatkan. Dan dia cakap dia sudi kerja balik di sana. Bila saya cek dengan dia, dia cakap dia dipaksa terima cakap dia sudi bekerja di Kemboja. Kalau tidak, dia tak akan dilepaskan. Ini macam... Seperti kita nampak macam ni polis berjuang ke arah hengki pengki dengan uh, kumpulan ni. Ma and Fong said they managed to escape to Thailand while being transported to Myanmar from Cambodia the last time that they were sold. While they were at the Thai border, they said that they followed five victims of the syndicate who were Chinese and Taiwanese nationals to flee to a crowded shopping mall. They then managed to contact Sim and stayed at a hotel that he booked while they waited for him to arrive in Thailand to help bring them back to Malaysia.